Hey everybody, welcome to Custom Made Everything. I'm Tim, and on this episode, we're going to start painting the blocker for our custom 3D printed Jordan Bennington goalie figure. We're also going to put the decals onto the goalie pads. So come on over to the bench, let's get started. Alright, let's test this decal out. See if all my hard work's going to pay off. Now, you may notice that there are some lines on here. These are some reference lines for where I'm going to cut this decal and put it on. I was given a tip by a fellow customizer, Comeback Customs. He does some great work. You got to check out his socials. I'll link them down in the description. And his tip was that you might want to put this on in pieces because it helps them go over these knee rolls. You can see that they've got bumps. And sometimes what happens is air pockets form under these bumps and then your decal doesn't look right. And it's just not what we're going for. So I'm taking his advice. I took the caliper tool. I took measurements. I transferred those measurements onto our cut, onto our piece of paper, and uh, we're gonna see if all that hard work has paid off. Let's test this out. Now that this is cut out, let's line it up and test fit it. Knee rolls look good. Uh, I'm concerned that when I actually go to put this on, that this guideline on this ankle is not going to line up well. So I think I'm going to remove it from the graphic. And when I'm putting this decal on, I'll get it to a spot and then I'll use a fresh X-Acto and I'll cut it here if I have to. If I can't get it to lay down into the crack, I'll just cut it. But I'm excited. Let's print these onto decal paper and get them onto this figure. All right, here we have it, moment of truth. Let's put this on, let's see if all this hard work's gonna pay off, all that measuring. Oh, I'm happy with that fit. I think I'm gonna go back into the graphic and make these lines not as dark, but I'd say just like the pads, this thing is ready to be printed on decal paper and put onto the figure. Exciting times, let's do it. This decal went on so well, I'm very happy with the results. Now that it's dry, I've got my reference photos brought up, we need to get some paint put onto the back of this. I've also got one more decal to put on, and we'll have this blocker all finished. Time to paint! Well, that's gonna do it for this first coat. We all know nobody wants to watch a second coat. So I'll do that off camera and I'll show you guys the finished results at the end of this video. Now it's time to put the decal on the front of those goalie pads. You may be noticing that this is a one piece decal that I'm putting on not a multi-piece like I had said I was going to do earlier in the video. Full transparency, off camera, I did do a multi-piece decal. And to be honest, it went on quite well. But I learned something while I was putting that on. I learned how flimsy and light this decal paper is. Now I've used decal paper for years, many different brands putting on decals of many different sizes, some a lot larger than this goalie pad decal but I've never experienced decal paper as light as this. And that can be a blessing and a curse. A blessing because you can do decals like this in one piece and it will sink into the negatives, but a curse because every time you touch it, you're putting a wrinkle in it. 
This brush I'm using is super soft and I'm using a very light touch to work this decal into the spots it needs to be. Overall, I'm very happy with the results of this decal. The time spent creating it, sizing it, and applying it is well worth it. And I'll share the results with you here in just a moment. Well, that goalie pad decal was super difficult to put on, but I persevered and I think the results speak for themselves. Let's take a look. Now that's gonna be it for filming of the goalie pads. What's left to do is super detailed and a little awkward to film. Now, as I promised earlier in the video, I was gonna do some work on the blocker and finish it up and show you guys the finished results. So not only that, I'm also gonna show you the finished catcher. Let's take a look at those. Well, I'm super happy with how they turned out. I hope you guys like it. If you do, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>